good morning dear students uh, we are here for a short lecture on a story a play that you are very familiar with called abhigyana shagundalam by kalidasa now uh, the purpose of this class is to make you familiar with some of those things that can come up as one mark or two mark question short questions uh, otherwise uh, this is something that you can you can simply uh, present in the papers because uh, uh, as i have just mentioned the story of shagundala and dushanda is something that uh, we have frequently heard uh, during the course of our life especially since childhood now uh, when we come to this play the first thing that you have to know is the meaning of the title what exactly do we mean by the title abhignana shagundalam here on the screen you can see abhignana shagundalam means the recognition of shagundala shagundala ay tirichariyal ennalladana abhignana shagundalam ennu parayna title la meaning now uh, again uh, now we have to look at the structure of the play uh, the play is divided into seven acts uh, it has got a prologue at the beginning and then after the prologue it is divided into seven acts and each of these acts have got a title now this again can come up as a two mark question uh, they can ask you about uh, the structure of the play then you have to say that it is divided into seven acts accompanied by a prologue now act 1 is titled as the chase okay act 2 is titled as the concealment of uh, the telling act 3 is titled as love's fruition act 4 is titled as shagundala's departure act 5 is titled as the repudiation of shagundala act 6 is titled as separation from shagundala and act 7 is titled as shagundala's prosperity uh, we will soon see why uh, these acts are named after such a fashion we will come to those details and before coming into the details of the play uh, we have to look now at the major characters and now uh, you know that the hero of the play is dushanda now you have to uh, understand that dushanda is the king who belongs to lunar dynasty okay otherwise uh, you have to know that he belongs to the dynasty of purus puru is the founder of the lunar dynasty and dushanda belongs there okay this again can come up as a one mark question name the dynasty that dushanda belongs to okay so he belongs to the lunar dynasty or the dynasty of puru puru vamsham ennu nammal malayalathile parayarundu then shagundala nammalku ariyam ashrama kanyagayana she lives in uh, the ashrama of the sage kanva and you have to understand that shagundala is not the biological daughter of kanva kanvante kanva maharshiya's biological daughter alla other on the other hand she is the adopted daughter of sage kanva now athyavasham arinjirikkanna adutha karyam anusuya and priyamada nammal kadagalilum paattukalilum akku kettittundagum shagundala's thoolimaaraanu sakhimaaraanu suhrutukalaanu anusuya and priyamada again this can come up as uh, one mark question now another one mark question who is madhavya okay so uh, ദുഷ്യന്തന്റെ കൊട്ടാരം വിദൂഷകനും സുഹൃത്തുമാണ് മാധവ്യ ഓക്കെ സോ ഹി ഇസ് എ കോർട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് കമ്പാനിയൻ ഓഫ് ദുഷ്യന്ത നൗ ഗൗതമി കൺവന്റെ ആശ്രമത്തിലെ ആശ്രമ മാതാവാണ് ഓക്കെ ദ മെയ്റ്റൺ ഓഫ് കൺവാസ് ഹെർമിറ്റേജ് ആണ് ഗൗതമി നൗ ഗൗതമിക്ക് പ്ലേയില് മറ്റ് പ്രധാ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒരു ഒരു റോൾ ഉണ്ട് വി വിൽ കം ടു ദാറ്റ് ലൈറ്റർ ഓൺ നൗ കൺവ യു നോ കൺവ മഹർഷി ഹി ഇസ് എ വെരി ഫേമസ് വെനറബിൾ ഓണറബിൾ മഹർഷിയാണ് കൺവ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നൗ ദേർ ആർ അതർ ടു ക്യാരക്ടർ കൺവന്റെ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള രണ്ട് പേരാണ് ശാരങ്കരവയും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ശാരദ്വതയും ഓക്കെ ഈ രണ്ട് പേരും ഓർത്തിരിക്കുക വൺ ഈസ് ശാരങ്കരവ ആൻഡ് ദ അതർ വൺ ഈസ് ശാരദ്വത കൺവന്റെ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് ആണ് നൗ യു എഗെയിൻ ഹാവ് ടു റിമെമ്പർ ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് മിശ്ര കേശി മിശ്ര കേശി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു അക്ഷരസ് ആണ് ഹു ഈസ് എ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് ദ വെരി റിനൗണ്ട് റിനൗണ്ട് അപ്സര നോൺ ആസ് മേനഖ നൗ മേനഖയ്ക്ക് ഈ കഥയിൽ വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ഒരു റോൾ ഉണ്ട് മേ ബി യു ആർ ഓൾറെഡി ഫെമിലിയർ ബട്ട് എന്താണ് അതെന്നുള്ളത് നമ്മൾ വലിയ താമസമില്ലാതെ കാണും നൗ യു ഹാവ് ടു റിമെമ്പർ ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് അനദർ ക്യാരക്ടർ മദാലി മദാലി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇന്ദ്രന്റെ തേരാളിയാണ് ഓക്കെ കഥയിൽ ഒരു ഒരു പാർട്ടിൽ ഒരു യുദ്ധത്തിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ദുഷ്യന്തനെ കൂട്ടിക്കൊണ്ട് പോകാനായിട്ട് മദാലി വരുന്നുണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മദാലീസ് ഇന്റർഫിയറൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഹെൽപ്സ് ദുഷ്യന്ത to uh, reclaim or to get shagundala back okay shagundala veendedukkanayittu um, 
ദുഷ്യന്തന്റെ ലൈഫിൽ ഒരു കോയിൻസിഡൻസ് ആയിട്ട് കടന്നു വരുന്ന കഥാപാത്രമാണ് മതാലി ഓക്കെ ന സർവധമന സർവധമന എന്ന വാക്കിന്റെ അർത്ഥം ഓൾ ടൈമർ എല്ലാത്തിനെയും മെരുക്കുന്നവൻ എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ നെയിം ഇനിഷ്യലി ഗിവൻ ടു ദ സൺ ഓഫ് ബോത്ത് ശകുന്തള ആൻഡ് ദുഷ്യന്ത ശകുന്തളയുടെയും ദുഷ്യന്തന്റെയും മകന് ആദ്യം കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്ന പേരാണ് സർവധമന ലേറ്റർ ഹി ഈസ് നെയിംഡ് ആസ് ഭരത ഓക്കെ അത് ആ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസിലേക്കൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ വരും നൗ ദർ ഈസ് അനദർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ക്യാരക്ടർ അഭിജ്ഞാന ശാകുന്തളത്തിന്റെ പെൻകുൻ പബ്ലിഷ് ചെയ്ത് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് വെർഷനിൽ ദിസ് നെയിം ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ആസ് മാരിജ ബട്ട് ആക്ച്വലി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മരീജി ഓക്കെ മരീജി കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടാകും മരീജി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വളരെ ഫേമസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള മഹർഷിമാരുടെ മഹർഷി എന്നൊക്കെ വിശേഷിപ്പിക്കപ്പെടുന്ന ആളാണ് ആൻഡ് ഹി ഈസ് ദ ഫാദർ ഓഫ് ലോഡ് ഇന്ദ്ര ലോഡ് ഇന്ദ്രന്റെ അച്ഛനായിട്ടുള്ള മഹർഷിയാണ് മരീജി ബ്രഹ്മാവിന്റെ മാനസപുത്രനാണ് ഓക്കെ So, uh, then comes the character Aditi. Mariji is the father of Aditi. Okay, the wife of Mariji and also uh, the mother of Lord Indra. Another information that uh, you can understand here is that Aditi is the daughter of Daksha. Okay, she is the sister of Sati. She was first wife. Uh, then there is another character, Durvasa. Uh, Durvasa is none other than the sage who is notorious for his short and violent temper. Ariyala, Durvasa. Okay. Namla Malayalatil Durvasa avu. In the way, in English it is Durvasa. Then uh, there are two other characters. One is Queen Vasamadi and the other one is Queen Hamsavadi. And both these women are the wives of Dushanda. Okay. So, Dushanda ne... ശകുന്തള അല്ലാതെ ശകുന്തളയെ കാണുന്നതിന് മുൻപ് തന്നെ ഭാര്യമാരുണ്ട് അവരിൽ രണ്ടു പേരാണ് പ്ലേയിൽ മെൻഷൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ള രണ്ടു പേരാണ് വസുമതിയും ഹംസവതിയും വേർ ഹംസവതി ഈസ് ഈസ് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് സിംഗർ ആൻഡ് ക്വീൻ വസുമതി ഈസ് ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ്ഡ് ആസ് എ മൺ ഹു ഈസ് ക്വൈറ്റ് ഇന്റലിജൻറ്റ് ഓക്കെ നൗ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു കീപ്പ് ഇൻ മൈൻഡ് വെൻ വി ഗോ ത്രൂ ദ പ്ലേ now uh, another information that you have to know is the name of a river i have given it here it is river malini patla ke getti undaga malini ada thirangal nakku paranjittu so uh, malini is a river that flows by himalayas and it is on the other side of river malini that the ashrama of kanwa is located ashrama in english is hermitage okay so the hermitage of kanwa is located beside river malini and the the romantic love relationship of dushanta and shakuntala takes place beside river malini okay now uh, there are some other details written here we will come to that later now uh, again uh, i have already mentioned that the play begins with a prologue okay now uh, during the prologue prologue means the curtain raiser during uh, the raising of the curtain we have got two characters on stage one is the director uh, sanskrit le nammal sutradhara ennu parayum okay and then there is another character who is present on stage uh, during prologue uh, is named as nadi nadi is actress and during those times uh, during the time of kalidasa during the performance of uh, these plays Uh, Nadi is usually the wife of the director. Sutradharan's wife is the wife of the director. Nadi is the wife of the prologue of the stage in the prologue of the stage. And it is usually this woman uh, who plays out the central female character of the play. If we come to the play, it is this Nadi or actress who appears during the prologue who performs the role of Shagundala. Okay. Now, uh, there is another information you have to know. Uh, I have written it here. This play is staged during the season of summer. Okay, so Kalidasan is the same as this Nadagam Adhimayat Avadiri Pika Pata the A season Lana, summer season Lana. So, at, uh, during the prologue, you can actually see the actress or Nadi singing a song about summer. Summer na describe it as a part of the song. Okay, so uh, this again is uh, an information that can help you because this can come up as Uh, one more question name the season when the play shakuntala abhijana shakuntalam is staged okay so it is staged d- during the season of summer now uh, we have covered uh, almost all the vital points i think uh, okay now we can come to the play now act 1 the chase now act 1 the chase is named 
uh, in such a way because the play begins with a chase okay this again can come up as a two mark question they can ask you to describe the opening scene so during the opening scene of abhignana shaguntalam you can find uh, dushanda and his chariot named as suda s u t a suda means chariot and both of them are uh, uh, engaged in a uh, in a in a uh, engaged in hunting you know that uh, kings are very passionate about hunting so is the case with dushanda um, now dushanda is engaged uh, in hunting a deer okay so when the play begins you find suda who is riding the chariot and behind the chariot you can find um, dushanda with a bow and arrow in his hand so uh, he is aiming it at a deer okay so uh, right at the moment when dushanda is about to fire the arrow uh, he hears the sound of uh, someone asking them to stop and this voice asks them to stop because it says that the deer belongs to the hermitage of kanva kanva inde ashramathile manpedeyana adine edu veerthirudhu naaru parayunu right then uh, a couple of hermits okay who are the disciples of kanva appears on scene and they inform dushanda that the deer belongs to the ashrama of uh, kanva and must be left alone okay and it is right then uh, dushanda uh, he he uh, 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 alights from his chariot chariot il ninna tande ridathil ninn iragunu disciples in a greet you know and it is then he comes to know that the ashrama of kanva is located close by and he decides to pay a visit actually he will invite a yana and dushanda goes with them and he comes to the hermitage of uh, kanva and for a moment uh, dushanda is left alone there and it is right then he begins to hear the sound of some girls already dushanda is informed that kanva is not there at the ashrama he has gone uh, to observe penance and uh, he is also informed that uh, uh, the hermitage the ashrama is is looked after by kanva's daughter who is shagundala okay so right then when uh, uh, dushanda is there at the hermitage of kanva he hears the sound of some girls and very soon he discovers both uh, anasuya and priyamada and very soon he comes across shagundala too and the moment he sees shagundala he is captivated by her beauty love at first sight nakku parayathile so he is so enamored by the magnetic appeal of shagundala and he is stays there he stands there wondering who she is okay now uh, <clears throat> while this uh, uh, the scene goes on uh, uh, we find anasuya priyamada and shagundala engaged in uh, in 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 the activity of tending the plants in the ashrama okay so ashramathile sasyangala paripalichu kondu nilkukayana avaru angane sasyangala paripalichu kondu nilkuna samayathu we are introduced to two plants okay Uh, uh, both are jasmines one is vanajosna neengal kettittundagum and there is one other plant uh, uh, jasmine bush called madavi now play le serikku nammal poduve vanajosne pattittaanu kettittullathengil polum madavi is more important in the play because madavi is planted by kanva and he looks after it the same way he looks after ശകുന്തള ശകുന്തള എങ്ങനെയാണോ കൺവൻ പരിപാലിക്കുന്നത് സ്നേഹിക്കുന്നത് അതേ രീതിയിലാണ് മാധവി ആര് സ്നേഹിക്കുന്നത് കൺവൻ കൺവ മഹർഷി സ്നേഹിക്കുന്നത് സോ മാധവി ഈസ് ഇൻ ഫാക്ട് ഈസ് ഈസ് എ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് എ ക്യാരക്ടർ ഇൻ ദ പ്ലേ സോ സോ വെൻ ദുഷിന്ദ കംസ് എക്രോസ് ദീസ് ത്രീ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ഗേൾസ് ദേ ആർ ആക്ച്വലി ടെൻഡിങ് ദ പ്ലാൻസ് ആൻഡ് ട്രീസ് ഇൻ ദ ആശ്രമ ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് മൊമെൻറ്റ് എ ബി ഒരു തേനീച്ച it begins to tease shagundala okay tease alla serikkum taunt ennu parayna vaakkana korchoda better taunt means chellipeduga and it is right at this moment when shagundala stands helpless being tormented by the bee that dushanda enters the scene okay 
this uh, describe it and then again another question can come up describe the first meeting of Shakuntala and Dushanda okay so Dushanda comes Dushanda is invited by the disciples of Kanva to visit the hermitage of uh, Kanva he goes there he is alone there and uh, while he stands there he hears uh, the sound of some girls and he finds them uh, he hides behind a tree. He observes them because he is captivated by the beauty of Shakuntala. And then uh, they, they keep on tending the plants. And right at that moment, a bee begins to torment Shakuntala. And when she stands helpless, Dushanda interferes to help. Okay. Now, Dushanda is curious to know who this girl is because he feels that Shakuntala has got an out of the world beauty. Okay. So, uh, he, he he realizes that Shakuntala is someone very special and he wonders how such such a beautiful girl can happen in the ashrama of Kanva. Okay, Kanva na pola or ala ashrama thale itra thoram sundari ayatrola or penguti angane onda gumna adishe padno dushan thena adishe padno and when he gets a brief moment he questions Anasuya and Priyamvada about the whereabouts of Shakuntala. Okay, and it is then we come to know who Shagundala actually is. It is during this conversation that we come to know that Shagundala is actually the adopted daughter of Kanva. Okay, and then during that conversation, we come to know that she is in fact the biological daughter of Menaga, the Apsara and the royal sage Vishwamitra. You, you know the story of Vish Vishwamitra. He was a Kshatriya. Uh, he was a king and he started doing penance. And it was such a long and enduring uh, penance. And uh, Lord Indra knew that he can be a threat if he, uh, if he uh, gains some kind of boon from uh, the, the, uh, the god. And then what Indra did was that he sent Menaga to disturb the penance of sage with Vishwamitra. And Menaga came, uh, you know what happened, uh, she must have started dancing, she must have started singing. Anyway, uh, she succeeded uh, in seducing Vishwamitra and both of them uh, had love making and out of that relationship came the daughter Shakuntala. Okay, so I did a description play in the Yanel Kadai with edited it under here. You can see on screen where she describes how uh, Shakuntala was born to uh, the royal sage uh, who belonged to Kaushika clan. Kaushika Navarana Kulatil Parnalana Vishwamitra. Uh, now uh, he is Shakuntala's real father. And then here it is described how Apsara Menaga, she came to disturb the single-minded concentration of Vishwamitra and she succeeded in her mission and both of them had a relationship, a brief relationship and out of that relationship, Menaga gave birth to Shakuntala and since Menaga had to go back and Sage Vishwamitra again, he could not take upon himself the responsibility of looking after uh, this, this newly born child. Uh, she was entrusted at the ashrama of sage Kanva. That is how Kanva became the adopted father of uh, Shagundala. Okay, uh, then uh, we come to Act 2. Uh, Act 2, uh, again it takes place at the ashrama of Kanva uh, where we find uh, Dushanda getting increasingly captivated by Shagundala's beauty and uh, he he doesn't know how to to proceed with this relationship and he seeks the help of madhavya uh, the court jester and anyway uh, 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 shagundala sorry dushanda has to propose to shagundala but what happens is that uh, dushanda gets a message from his palace this message comes from his mother asking him to come back because his mother is doing some kind of fasting and she says that she will end her fasting only if Dushanda comes back. Now what Dushanda does is that he decides to camp in the forest itself and instead of going back to the palace he sends Madhavya. Okay. Uh, as his representative he sends Madhavya and Dushanda decides to stay back at the forest. Now, uh, this is what acts, uh, ha uh, happens during Act 2. Uh, in Act 2, we actually uh, see the kind of pain, the pang, okay, 
ആ പ്രണയത്തിന്റെ ഒരു വേദന എന്നൊക്കെ പറയത്തില്ലേ ആ ഒരു ശ്വാസം മുട്ടൽ ഓക്കെ സോ ആക്ട് ടു ആക്ച്വലി ടോക്സ് അബൌട്ട് ദ സഫോക്കേഷൻ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ബൈ ദുഷ്യന്ത ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് വാട്ട് ഹി കൺസിഡേഴ്സ് ടു ബി എ വൺ സൈഡഡ് ലവ് ഫോർ ശകുന്തള നൗ ആക്ട് ത്രീ ഈസ് ടൈറ്റിൽഡ് ആസ് ലവ്സ് ഫ്രൂട്ടീഷൻ നൗ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ആക്ട് ദുഷ്യന്ത കംസ് ടു നോ ദാറ്റ് ശകുന്തള ഓൾസോ loves him back okay now he happens to know this uh, from a conversation between shakuntala and surya and priyamada okay now ever since uh, uh, shakuntala has seen dushanta she is also experiencing the same kind of pangs okay now this pang this pain this one side the the pain caused by one sided love for dushanta is expressed in the form of uh, physical exhaustion okay so shakuntala experiences a kind of physical exhaustion because of the heat of love okay a pranayathinte taapam kondu oru valare sharirikamayittulla oru paravesham shakuntala anubhavikkunnundu which she attributes to the heat of summer okay surya taapam kondana nu shakuntala parayunnundu and you find a particular scene where both anasuya and priyamada uh, keep shakuntala in a bower bava vallikudu okay shagundala is resting in a in a bava and both anasuya and priyamada are trying their best to cool down the body of shagundala using lotus leaves lotus flowers they do all kinds of gimmicks uh, believing that shagundala's exhaustion is because of the the tormenting heat of summer but actually what she suffers is the heat of love now the same thing uh, is suffered by dushanta and that is what we find in act 2 okay now again uh, act 2 is titled as concealment of the telling because uh, initially uh, dushanta uh, details his his love for uh, shagundala to madhavya madhavya nod aadim onnu thorannu parayunnundu pakshe madhavyan kottarathilekku tirichu pogunu ennalla oru situation il varumbodhekkum dushanta fears that madhavya might let this information leak at the court okay ee vivaram മാധവിയൻ ഒരു പക്ഷേ ഇവിടെ ലീക്ക് ചെയ്യും തൻ്റെ അമ്മയുടെ അടുത്തോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കൊട്ടാരത്തിലുള്ള തൻ്റെ മറ്റ് ഭാര്യമാരുടെ അടുത്തോ ഒക്കെ ലീക്ക് ചെയ്യും എന്നുള്ളൊരു പേടിയുള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ദുഷ്യന്ത ഡിസൈഡ്സ് ടു കൺസീൽ ദ ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ ബൈ ടെലിങ് മാധവിയ ദാറ്റ് ഹിസ് ലവ് ഫോർ ഷകുന്തള ഈസ് ഓൺലി എ ജോക്ക് ഓക്കെ ഹി സെയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൺലി എൻ ഇൻഫാക്ച്വേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഹി ആസ് മാധവിയ ഹൗ എ മാൻ ഫ്രം എ ക്ഷത്രിയ ക്ലാൻ ക്യാൻ ഫോൾ ഇൻ ലവ് വിത്ത് ദ ഡോട്ടർ ഓഫ് uh as age okay ingena paranjittana madhavyane convince cheynathu that his uh, uh, that his attraction for shakuntala is nothing but uh, uh, but an infatuation so that is why act 2 is titled as concealment of telling act 3 is titled as love's fruition and uh, while shakuntala is resting in this power uh, both anasuya and priyamada they suspect that something is wrong with shakuntala and they question shagundala what actually the matter is and shagundala who is absolutely helpless who shagundala who cannot bear the heat of this love alone who cannot bear the heat of the love alone finally decides to uh, unburden herself by sharing the matter with anasuya and priyamada okay now while this revelation is being made uh, Dushanta is present in the in the scene he is hiding behind the bower and he is looking through uh, maybe maybe a chink on the bower a bower la vallikudil nadakkulla oru gap lude aalu olinju nokkunnundu and it is during this scene that uh, Dushanta comes to know that Shakuntala also loves him back and he is absolutely overjoyed now when we come to act 4 uh, we come to know that uh, we see that both Shakuntala and Dushanta so during that conversation in act 3 uh, dushanta appears on scene he gets inside the bower and he reveals he tells shakuntala that he also shares her feelings okay so uh, they they both come to know that the, their love for each other is mutual and uh, it is there we we uh, come across the first scene where shakuntala and dushanta are left to themselves by anasuya and priyamada oru man pede nokanam nalla oru excuse paranjittu anasuya and priyamada im swargathila katturum bagada avadu maarunu and we find shagundala and dushanta sitting together inside the bower and dushanta expresses his uncontrollable love for shagundala okay but shagundala on the other hand she since she is brought up in 
in the ambience or atmosphere of a, a of a hermitage she she has got some kind of self control and she uh, she wants it to be a proper relationship okay so uh, when we come to act 4 what we understand is that both shagundala and dushanda has married each other on the basis of mutual consent and this is described in the play as what we uh, known as gan uh, gandharva marriage okay gandharva vivaham ennu nammal malayalathil parayam it is a kind of marriage that is legally permitted during that time okay ആ സമയത്ത് നിയമപരമായിട്ട് അനുവദനീയമായിട്ടുള്ള മാരേജ് ആണ് മാരേജ് ഓൺ മ്യൂച്വൽ കൺസെൻറ്റ് മറ്റാരുടെയും സമ്മതവും സമ്മതവും ഒന്നും ആവശ്യമില്ല സ്ത്രീക്കും പുരുഷനും പരസ്പരം സമ്മതമാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വിവാഹം കഴിക്കാനായിട്ടുള്ള സംവിധാനമായിരുന്നു ഗാന്ധർവ വിവാഹം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ബോത്ത് ഓഫ് ദം ഹാസ് കമ്മിറ്റഡ് ടു ഈച്ച് അത് ത്രൂ ഗാന്ധർവ മാരേജ് ഓക്കെ നൗ ദെൻ സിൻസ് ദുഷ്യന്ത കനോട്ട് സ്റ്റേ ബാക്ക് ഫോർ എ ലോങ് ടൈം ഹി ഡിസൈഡ്സ് ടു ലീവ് and during the time of separation um dushanda makes a promise okay now this promise is revealed much later in the play and there no promise nalla the now the promise is dushanda gave uh, shagundala his royal signet ring raja mudra padipicha mudra modram adana royal signet ring on which uh, the name of dushanta is inscribed a modrathil ara peru inscribe edittund dushantante peru inscribe edittund and dushanta gives his word to shagundala that she has to count each day by one letter of his name okay adayathu dushantante perla oru aksharam vechittu oru divasam count cheya by the time she comes to the last letter he will send sent an escort an entourage or escort to take shagundala to his court okay so then the raja patni ayite shagundala swigirikan vendiṭe eppadano shagundala tande mudra modrathile tande perinte avasanathe letter ucchirikkunnathu annu so dushanta in sanskrit it has got three letters so dushanta okay which means that on the third day okay on the third day of separation he will send an escort to take shagundala to his court as his royal wife okay now he goes back now when we come to act 5 we know that kanva who was away from the ashrama has returned and by the time he entered uh, the premises of his ashrama he happens to hear an oracle oracle o r a c l e oracle means ashriri ennu parayathile so by the time kanva enters uh the ashrama he hears an oracle and from the oracle he comes to know what has happened to his daughter shagundala the oracle tells that shagundala is now married to uh, uh the the is married to emperor dushanta now emperor dushanta is the most respected emperor during that time he is described as the preserver of the earth okay so bhoomiyada thanne samrakshakanayittulla bhoomiyile aaralum vellu vilikkanillatha rajavaayittana dushyantana describe cheyana moreover he belongs to the much acclaimed uh, dynasty of puru so the oracle is something that is welcoming to uh, kanva so once he realizes that they uh, shagundala and dushyanta has married each other Uh, by gandharva rights he decides to send shagundala he decides to make arrangements for the departure of shagundala to 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 uh, dushanta's palace now again what you have to understand is that by this time a number of days have passed since uh, dushanta's separation from shagundala dushanta had given shagundala word that he will send Uh, a team on the third day but a number of days have passed and shagundala is in fact uh, pining pining means she she longs very much to to uh, be united with her husband now idin edakke or sambhavam nadakkunnundu it is after uh, the departure of uh, dushanta uh it happens i think this happens at, at the beginning of uh, act 4 uh or uh, during act 3 uh, we have to see so uh what happens is ever since dushanta has departed 
Shaguntala spends her day and night lost in his thoughts. Okay, so uh, every day she will spend looking at that signet ring. Okay, uh, she will be uh, thinking about Dushanta and she will sit day and night lost in thoughts. And it is during one of these days, like uh, Dushanta and Poi, on the of the while she is lost in thoughts, uh, Durvasa, who was passing that way, decided to pay visit at the hermitage of uh, Kandwa. Okay, so Dushandan Poyuri Onno Rando Dhavasan Kanya Pratekam Durvasa who was passing that way he decided to pay visit at the hermitage of uh, Kandwa. By the time he entered the hermitage he find Shagundala sitting at the doorstep lost in thoughts. Okay, and he called lady there is no response and again he called. Okay, there was no response and immediately he became angry because he thought that this girl who was sitting there was intentionally acting like she has not heard his words okay so maybe Durvasa was very tired maybe he was very hungry maybe he was traveling for such a long time and he wanted to take rest and he wanted to be welcomed in the way he deserves to be welcomed but when he found that it is being he is being overlooked he puts a curse on Shagundala he curses that whoever she is thinking about will forget her okay so our segment uh, here okay so then uh, the screenshot this this can come again as a question what is the curse put by Durvasa on uh, Shagundala this is it you who do not notice me a horde of holy merit standing at your door okay so I am a man of holy merit standing at your door and you do not notice me because you are lost in thoughts of one to the exclusion of all else you shall be lost in his thoughts though you got his memory hard he shall fail to remember you even as a man drunk remembers not thereafter the tale he told before okay so madhya bikina urvan madhya bikina samayat parayana kadagal adutha divasam orkadirikkunnathu pole nee aareyano orthukondirikkunnathu avan ninde avante ormeil ninnu nee nashtapettu pogum so this is a curse that is put by durvasa during uh, his departure now uh, both uh, anasuya and priyamada they overhear this curse okay uh, being put on Shagundala they realize that a great mischief has been done on their poor friend and they decide to uh, to to approach Durvasa to beg his pardon so what we see is that Anasuya uh, she she runs after Durvasa while Priyamvada on the other hand runs into the ashrama to make all arrangements to welcome Durvasa. So we find Anasuya running. She approaches Durvasa and she she falls at his feet. Okay, begging his pardon. Now Durvasa, who is very temperamental, uh, is is appeased by. Okay, he is very much pleased by what Anasuya has said, and. Uh, he cools down but the problem is that if you put a curse on someone it cannot be taken back now he gives one uh, one relief or a reprieve he says that if Shaguntala shows some kind of a token to the one she is thinking about he or she shall remember her so, okay, so uh, he passes on. Okay, so Durvasa continues his journey. Okay, now both Anasuya and Priyamada they are relieved because they know that Shagundala has got the royal signet ring that was given by Dushanta during the time of his departure. Now, uh, when we come towards the end of Act 4, we find Shagundala preparing for departure. One minute. Okay, uh, so uh, we find Shagundala preparing for departure. Now, this is uh, one of the most dramatic moments in the play because we find how hurt 
the the entire uh, uh, hermitage is because of the departure of Shakuntala. So we understand how she is beloved to uh, Anasuya and Priyamvada. We find how uh, she is important to Kanva. We find how uh, uh, the the flora and fauna of uh, Kanva's hermitage is emotionally. Uh, affected by the departure of uh, Shagutala. Namla Palapadam Nila Kadarla Ketitrandagam, how Vana Josna wept, uh, like how the, the entire uh, trees and plants they, they stood drooping, how uh, the deer and other animals uh, in uh, the premises of the ashrama were affected by the departure of Shagutala. So, this is exactly what happens because we find that both Vana Josna and Madhavi. Uh, are affected by the departure of uh, Shagundala. The entire tree and plants, they weep. Okay, they, they stand drooping their leaves because of the pain they, they suffer because of Shagundala's departure. We find that um, uh, uh, the animals, especially there is a deer that is looked after by Shagundala, okay, uh, as her adopted child. Uh, now, we find it, it standing it comes and standing on the way of Shagundala preventing her to to step further so again we find Chakravaga birds Chakravaga Pakshila they 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 weep for Shagundala the quill it weeps for Shagundala quill has stopped singing so this is the kind of dramatic things that happen during the time of Shagundala's departure uh, oh, uh, now, uh, before that, you find uh, when uh, Shagundala is being dressed up, okay, so because she is now going to be the wife of uh, Emperor Dushanda, uh, we find even though they are very much emotionally affected, we find both Anasuya and Priyamvada uh, uh, grooming uh, Shagundala uh, to make her look better, okay. So, uh, they, they are preparing Shagundala for the departure. One minute. Okay, so we find uh, both Anasuya and Priyamada engaged in grooming uh, uh, Shagundala and now they are upset that in the premises of Ashrama they cannot find anything valuable to, to dress up Shagundala the way she deserves. Now it is then uh, a couple of disciples of Kandva uh, arrives with everything that is needed for Shagundala to groom or to dress up the way she deserves to be as the wife of uh, Dushanda. And it is then we come to know that uh, they have got all these things by the magic performed by Kanva. By the magic of Kanva, the trees in the forest, they have provided a garment of silk and then uh, some of those flowering trees have provided dye, dye, D-Y-E, dye means color to color the feet of Shagundala and again we have seen that woodland nymphs uh, uh, they have provided rare jewels by uh, transforming beautiful buds into jewels okay so this is how uh, they, they get all the materials needed for dressing Shagundala beautifully uh, to make her look like very much to make her look very much like the queen of Dushanda now uh, it is then uh, we come to know how uh, uh, the place is affected by uh, Shagundala's departure. Okay, so here we see how the little fawn uh, described as Shagundala's adopted son uh, stood on the way preventing Shagundala from going ahead. And again, we have seen how uh, uh, the birds in the premises, they were weeping, how the trees and uh, plants, they stood drooping. And again, uh, we have seen, uh, see, we see how here the Chakravaga answers not the call of his love. Okay. So, Tandina Pakshiada Viliki Maruvili Guduka, the Chakravaga Pakshila Nakanadan. This is how um, Kalidasa describes the departure of Shagundala. Now, uh, when we come to Act 5, uh, we see that at the end of Act 4, we see that uh, Kanva sending Shagundala to the palace of. Uh, Dushanda and here you have to keep in mind the information that when Shagundala goes to the palace of uh, Dushanda, she is being accompanied by three people. One is Gaudami, 
the matron of Kanva's hermitage. One is Sharangrava and the other is Sarukvada. This again can come up as a one mark question like who accompanies Shagundala to the court of uh, Dushanda. It is Gaudami, uh, matron of Kanva's hermitage, then the two disciples of sage Kanva, one is Sharangrava and the other one is Sarukvada. Now the expected happens, the curse uh, comes to place by the time they arrive at the court of Dushanda, Dushanda fails to recognize Shagundala. Okay, and Shagundala is shocked. She is absolutely shocked. She tries her best, but what we find is that uh, Dushanda insults Shagundala because by the time she comes to uh, his court, Shagundala is pregnant with uh, the child of Dushanda. Okay, now Dushanda says that he cannot take upon himself the responsibility of somebody else's child and it is this remark that hurts Shagundala. Now Shagundala is described as a character who has got a lot of self-esteem. Okay, now she is not a normal woman, you know, uh, she is uh, in fact the daughter of Vishwamitra and Menaga. So she has got that royal blood in her and she is very much, she feels insulted by the words of Shagundala. Now, at the end of that debate, it is actually a debate between Dushanda and Shagundala, where Shagundala tries her best to remind Shagundala, to, to remind Dushanda of herself, while on the other hand, poor Dushanda, he does not even have a trace of memory, okay, of having ever seen this woman, and he feels that somebody like the people from the hermitage of Kanva is actually is uh, trying a foul trick on him okay it is that way he conceives it he he feels that uh, some kind of a trick is play is being played upon him and he says that he cannot he cannot even look at the face of a woman who is somebody else's wife okay so that is where we find how uh, how uh, uh, like how uh, uh, righteous is Dushanda. Okay, Matur went up Harida Mogutu Volum Nokanare Thairaganilla, Dushanda Thairaganilla, but still at the same time he realizes that this woman is so beautiful. Again, he is attracted by the beauty of Shagundala, but still he cannot accept her because he believes that this woman is, is pregnant from someone else. Now, Shagundala is, is left. Uh, in a position that you can describe as Trishangu because uh, the people who accompanied her okay that is Sharangrava and Sharadvada and Gaudami there, there is no uh, doubt from the part of Gaudami okay but Sharangrava and Sharadvada again they, they blame uh, Dushanda they, they say all kind of bad words on Dushanda because again they, they both believe uh, Shagundala. Okay, so that is a kind of respect that they have for Shagundala, but still, they, they considering the the socio-cultural position of those days, if they take Shagundala back to Kanva's ashrama, she will give birth to a child without father, and that will affect the reputation of Kanva. Okay, now. What Sharangrava and Sharadvada suggest is that Shagundala should stay back at the court. Okay, if Dushanda cannot accept her as his wife, at least they, they say that she can stay there as his servant. Okay, now Shagundala cannot bear that. Okay, Shagundala cannot bear that. Her, her uh, respect for herself prevent her and she decides to go out. Okay, that is she decides to go back to the ashrama of Kanva, but it is then Sharangrava and Sharadvada say that they cannot take her back because that will affect the reputation of their ashrama. Nyanelka point on the plane. It is here. Sharangrava says, if you are what the king says you are, the king says that you are a bad woman. Okay, so you have become pregnant out of some man whose name you cannot reveal. So what will your father have to do with you? A stain on his family. So if you come back to Ashrama, you will be a stain on the, the uh, hermitage. But as you know, your own conduct to be pure, even servitude in your husband's house will be welcome to you. Okay. But still he says, they, he believes Shagundala to be pure and he advises her 
to remain at the court as a servant okay but uh, what happens is uh, dushanda is not ready to accept even that okay because uh, he cannot he says that that will be kind of living uh, giving false hope to this lady okay so uh, he says that uh, uh, he cannot bear the sight of somebody else's wife and he asks shagundala to go away okay now shagundala is is now in a, in a, in a position that i have uh, described as trishangu and what shagundala does is she reminds you of sita okay the position sita was in when she was finally repudiated by by when she was fi even finally questioned of her chastity by lord rama now so the same way shagundala prays to the mother earth to uh to open up its mouth and and to suck her in okay so she prays to mother earth to to take her into her depths now uh but uh, that does not happen there so shagundala is in fact forced to walk away from dushanda and what happens is both gaudami and uh, Sa sarankrava and sharitvada they abandon they abandon shagundala okay so shagundala disappears from the sight of dushanda okay now we understand that both sharankrava and sharitvada they also walked away from shagundala and it is then uh, a servant of uh, dushanda enters crying out that a miracle has happened okay ഒരു ഒരു അത്ഭുതം സംഭവിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഒരു സേവകൻ പ്രവേശിക്കുന്നു ആൻഡ് ദുഷന്ത ആസ് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൺ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദെൻ ഹി കംസ് ടു നോ ദാറ്റ് വൈൽ ശകുന്തള സ്റ്റുഡ് ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് ദ പാലസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഹെൽപ്ലെസ് സംതിങ് ലൈക്ക് എ ലൈറ്റ്നിങ് അപ്പിയർ ഫ്രം ദ സ്കൈ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ടുക്ക് ശകുന്തള ടു ദ സ്കൈസ് ഓക്കെ സോ അഗെയിൻ എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ക്യാൻ ഹാപ്പൺ ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ് ദ മിറക്കൽ ദാറ്റ് ഹാപ്പൺ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ റെപ്യൂഡിയേഷൻ ഓഫ് ശകുന്തള സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ മിറക്കൽ ഈസ് ദിസ് സം അൺനോൺ പവർ അപ്പിയർ ഫ്രം ദ സ്കൈ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ടുക്ക് ശകുന്തള അവേ ഓക്കെ ഇൻ ടു ഇൻ ടു ദ വേൾഡ് ഓഫ് ക്ലൗഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ലൈറ്റ് വി കം ടു നോ ദാറ്റ് ദ ലൈറ്റ്നിങ് ആൻഡ് അഗെയിൻ ദ സേ ദാറ്റ് ദ ലൈറ്റ്നിങ് ഹാഡ് എ ഹ്യൂമൻ ഷെയ്പ് ഓക്കെ so it is later we understand that it was none other than shagundala's mother menaga the apsara who came in the form of a lightning and took shagundala away okay <coughs> one minute now uh, i forgot to mention another another incident when um, shagundala understands that she has failed completely uh, before dushanda when she understands that dushanda cannot remember her anyway she decides to produce the ring because uh, anasuya and priyamada it is only they who heard the curse of durvasa shagundala was completely lost she didn't even hear what the curse is and both anasuya and priyamada not to upset shagundala kept the secret to themselves but during the time of shagundala's depart departure from the hermitage they tactically tells shagundala that if by some means if by some means dushanda fails to re remember her they advise shagundala to produce the signet ring okay so they have given her this advice and shagundala when she understands that she has failed in every other way to make herself uh to 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 make dushanda remember her she says that wait i will show you something that will help you remember me that will tell you who i am and it is then he searches her finger for the signet ring but alas alas the ring is missing and dushanda laughs at shagundala the the moment she says that she has got something with her to make dushanda remember her dushanda is interested he says that that is a proper way if you have got something that will help me to remember you that is something that is acceptable but when she says that the thing she has got with her is lost dushanda laughs at her it is then dushanda begins to think that this woman is playing some dirty trick on him so uh, 
so Shagundala loves the ring and she she thinks that she realizes that she must have lost it when she took bath in a stream on the way okay so on the way she must have uh, taken bath in a stream to offer prayers to the gods and she realizes that it is during that time she must have lost the ring okay so that is where we come to the end of act 5 uh, Shagundala is is abandoned by uh, Dushanda and at the end of Act 5 we find some unknown power from the sky has lifted Shagundala out of the face of the earth. Now when we come to Act 6 uh, <coughs> titled Separation from Shagundala it begins with a scene where a fisherman is being taken by a couple of not couple there are actually three policemen one is a chief and the other two are constables and they are taking him to the court of Dushanda because they have found this man attempting to sell the signet ring at the market the signet ring that carries the name of Dushanda so they think that uh, this man has stolen the ring of Dushanda but upon questioning this fisherman he says that he is a fisherman by profession and he says that he found the ring from the gut of a carp c-a-r-p carp is a kind of fish okay so this man says that i am innocent i found this uh, ring while i was cutting a carp open and it was there inside its gut gut means stomach now at the beginning the policeman does not uh, take these words into consideration they still consider him as a thief but the chief of the police uh, he has got some kind of intelligence and what he does is that while this fisherman makes this remark of having found this ring inside the gut of a carp this this chief he smells the ring he smells the ring and he says that yes yes this this ring smells like it has been inside the bloody gut of a fish and so uh, the chief sort of sort of believes the words of the fisherman anyway he takes the ring to the court making the fisherman and the other two cops standing outside the chief goes in and he comes back with the word that this fisherman is in fact innocent and uh, uh, instead of they, they expected that Dushinda would punish fisherman but instead of punishment Dushanda has offered money equivalent to the value of the ring to be awarded to the fisherman okay so that is where that episode ends and when the fisherman says that he is ready to share half of the money with the policeman they are all delighted and they go to a pub okay a tavern and that is where that sequence ends and then uh, uh, when we come to Dushanda is all remorse because the moment he sees the signet ring he remembers the whole episode he realizes that he has deserted he has repudiated he has uh, in fact he has insulted his lawful and dear wife Shabundala. so act 6 is all about the kind of pain suffered by Dushanda when he remembers Shagundala. The pain is so intense that even Dushanda faints. Because he cannot bear the pain. And it is also in Act 6 we come to see that Dushanda is also a very good painter. Uh, he has painted the portrait of Shagundala because he fears that he will not get Shagundala back because she is the adopted daughter of Kanva. He fears how Shagundala and both Kanva would react if he go back to the ashrama and request Shagundala back. So this is the kind of confusion suffered by Dushanta thinking uh, what will now happen. He, he wants uh, Shagundala back and also the most interesting thing is that Dushanta who is childless, okay, who is childless has once been said that his first child will take after himself his first child will be heir to him and he has also been once informed that his first child will be a son and he has also been informed that that son will rule over the earth now Dushanda is increasingly concerned about Shaguntala's child okay he knows that he has not only abandoned his dear wife but has also abandoned the promise that has been made to him his child his first child okay so 
all these things begins to torment Dushanda and this is in fact uh, a very significant act in the play because uh, Kalidasa takes a lot of time uh, to describe the, the mental, emotional and even physical situation of Dushanda after his realization, okay, after he got the ring back from the fisherman. Now, uh, uh, as I said, when the pain becomes so intense, when the pain becomes unbearable, he swoons, S-W-O-O-N-S, swoons means faints. And while he comes out of his fainting, while he uh, recovers his consciousness, he is being uh, visited by, he is visited by Matali. Okay. Now that is also a magical episode where Matali, who first comes invisible, torments Madhavya for fun. Okay. Madhavya na torment in the road is seen under uh, as an invisible force and Dushanda decides to fight this invisible force because Dushanda is blessed with all, all heavenly weapons and he can fight even invisible force. And uh, it is then uh, that Matali uh, materializes himself and he says that he comes bearing a message from Indra and he says that heaven is being attacked by a uh, uh, by a uh, tribe of titans. Titans and the Varayan other, he played uh, English version of Titans and the Udeshina, basically Asuras Anna. So uh, Indra is. Uh, Indra and the entire heaven is under threat and uh, Indra has sent Matali seeking the help of Dushanda to fight the titans or the Asuras. Okay, so Matali has got uh, a chariot that can sail over skies. Okay, uh, so when the moment Dushanda hears that uh, uh, that Indra needs his help, he takes his weapons, he mounts on the chariot of Madali and goes out to, to battle the demons. And now, uh, when we come to Act 7, uh, uh, the, we, we, it begins with a conversation between Madali and Dushanda. And from that conversation, we understand that Dushanda has successfully... Uh, 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 mitigated the threat that was imposed on heaven by the titans okay that is swargam nerita bhishani successfully at dushanda kaigaryam cheyidu he has successfully chased away the titans the asuras and heaven is heaven can once again breathe in peace and we also come to know how indra is happy with dushanda and also how dushanda feels very much indebted to the love that is expressed to him by indra so indra and dushanda in a kind of brotherly relationship this is again later justified at the end of the play when uh, dushanda comes to meet uh, mariji and aditi who are the parents of indra now, uh, after the, the, the successful battle against the Titans or the Asuras, we find Dushanda and uh, Madali on Indra's chariot traveling through all the heavenly places. Now, finally, Madali brings his chariot to rest at the top of Himalayas. Okay. Uh, so, it is described as a kind of heavenly place. Okay. It, it is described as a kind of heavenly place. Now, that is... Uh, uh, the place that belongs to Mariji. Okay. Now it is from Madali's words that Dushanda comes to know that uh, they are in fact now landing at the hermitage of Mariji. And it is also from uh, Madali's words that he comes to know that uh, this is the most sacred of places. Okay. So either Maharshim, Varanam, Poganam, Agrekin, Atra beautiful light or Lady Place, Anna Kerala, the description Madali da Vakal in the Narka Gitananda, Dushanda Nakitananda. Okay. Now, anyway, uh, the chariot, it lands at uh, Mariji's ashrama and uh, Madali goes to inform uh, Mariji of the arrival of Dushanda. One minute. Okay, now uh, when uh, Dushanda stands there, left alone to himself, he, he hears the sound of a couple of uh, women in the hermitage scolding a child. Okay, now what he finds is a boy, maybe maybe three years. Okay, so maybe three or four years. The age is not described. Anyway, uh, we have to understand that some years have passed since uh, Dushanda's 
repudiation of Sagatala. So this is a, a very young child, maybe around three or four, and he is playing with a lion's cub. And in fact, this boy, this young boy who appears too courageous for his age, has in fact pulled the cub from the teats, the breast of the mother lion or the lioness. Lioness in the Maharatil Nani Kunjana Edithod Vandrikanada. And now both these women they know that the, the, the lioness can be angry with the kid, but the kid appears that that it does not bother him. So that is why I said that the child appears too courageous for this for his age. And immediately uh, Dushanda is captivated by this sight. And already in Act 6, we have seen how Dushanda feels uh, for himself because of being childless. Now he is anxious who will take after him once he dies. Now the moment he sees this child, he feels a lot for him. Okay, he feels a lot for the child. Uh, he he uh, feels some kind of an affection, emotion that he has never experienced before. And now when this conversation between the child uh, and these two women from the hermitage takes place, uh, they, they, they meet Dushada and immediately they seek the help of Dushada. These women seek the help of Dushada to free the cub from the hands of the child. Now Dushada intervenes, he takes the cub away from the hands of the child and he uh, gives it back to the women. Uh, so what happens is this. During this episode, Dushanda questions these women about the whereabouts of this, this boy. And it is then he comes to know that uh, this is in fact the daughter of Shaguntala. Sorry, the son of Shaguntala. And it is then he comes to know that Shaguntala lives there. And it is then he comes to know that after his repudiation, the power that appeared from the sky, that is Menaga, she took Shagundala to the ashrama of Mariji and she entrusted Shagundala and uh, the yet-to-be-born child, the pregnant Shagundala, under the custodianship of Mariji. And he also comes to know that Menaga is present at the ashrama to look after her daughter. Okay. Now... Uh, another another uh, episode that happens here is uh, this boy has got a protective amulet A M U L E T. Namely, and the baraya. So this boy has got a protective amulet that is put on his hands by Mariji to protect him from evil forces. Okay, so. Uh, to their shock, these two women who belong to the hermitage, they find that the amulet is missing. And immediately, uh, uh, Dushanda finds it lying on the ground. And as he is about to take it, both these women, they cry. Okay, they, they give out a loud outcry asking Dushanda not to touch it. But by that time, Dushanda has already taken it. And now, these two women who want Dushanda not to touch it are now standing amazed. Because by the time Mariji put this amulet on the hands of the child, he has given word that only, only uh, three people, I think, only three people can touch it. One is Mariji and the other is the boy's parents his father and mother. If anyone else touches that amulet, it will be it will be transformed into a poisonous serpent and it will bite the, the person who touches the amulet. Okay, so uh, this is a kind of protection that is given to the child uh, by Mariji, by putting the amulet on his hands. Now, since only three people can touch it, these two women from the hermitage, they are amazed and they realize that this man who has taken it must be, must be the boy's father, must be the emperor Dushanta. And it is then 
Dushanta confirms that this boy is in fact his own child. And it is also during this episode we come to know that the boy is named as Sarvadamana, which means all tamer. That is exemplified by the episode where he has at the at the tender age he has in fact tamed lions. Okay. So that is why he is named as Sarvadamana. Now uh, this these two women who stands amazed by realizing that this man standing close by is Dushanda, they run to inform Shagundala. Now they bring Shagundala and the moment uh, Dushanda sees Shagundala, he falls at her feet begging pardon. Okay, now uh, even though Shagundala was insulted, she is still expecting that, she was still expecting that Dushanda would one day come to, will come to her and Shagundala still maintains her love for Dushanda and they now realize each other and we come to a very happy conclusion as Dushanda decides to take Shagundala and their son back to his palace. Now uh, right at that moment Mariji and Aditi they interfere they come they come to meet uh, uh, Dushanda they receive him they welcome him to their uh, hermitage and both of them blesses uh, Shagundala and Dushanda with long life and all sorts of prosperity. That is why Act 7 is titled as Shagundala's Prosperity. And that is where the play ends. Okay, I hope uh, this, this piece of uh, lecture will help you and I think uh, you can now go ahead with uh, some sort of confidence to, to answer the questions that may come from this play. Anyway, all the best. If there are any questions, you can feel free to ask either through whatsapp or or maybe you can even call me if there are any questions to be any serious questions to be made okay thank you so much